keeps calling me today, okay? It's a, I'm not sure, it's a different number, all right? 865-274-9134 and 865-274-3209. Uh, these numbers keep calling me. And what they're saying is that your Am uh, somebody has tried to make a purchase on your Amazon account. Uh, 700 and something dollars was tried to charge on your account out of Ohio or out of Michigan. It could be different amounts in different state, but it's still the same line. It doesn't matter what they try to change in or change out of it. They're still saying that uh, an attempt was made on your account. So anyway, you call the number and say, hey, uh, you know, my, my account is saying that it's being hacked and my first red flag is that it's a damn Indian that picks up the phone. So the Indian says, oh yes, how can I help you today? Would you like to buy a Slurpee machine? No, I'm just playing. That's not at all what the hell he said. What he says is, oh, I, how can I help you today? And you tell him, well, you guys keep calling me saying that someone hacked in my account um, and try to charge $700. So right then and there, I know that someone tried to, but was unsuccessful. So that means that the, the all the defenses that Amazon puts in place actually stopped somebody from getting into my account. But you got to remember, this is all bullshit. This is a scam. What they want is they want you to go to anydesk.com. That's what they're going to tell you. Go to any, that's A-N-Y-D-E-S-K. As soon as you go to that, it pops up at a European, this is a European website. Not only is it a European website, but it's a remote desktop software. That's what they want. They want you to download this remote software so they can have access to your computer so they can log into your Amazon account and steal your debit cards, your information. You have to be smarter than this, people. Just, just think about it for two damn seconds. Two seconds, that's all you gotta do is think about it. Okay, for one, everybody knows that when it comes to the Indians, and I'm talking about the Indians with the dots in the middle of their head, the, oh, welcome to my 7-Eleven. Thank you, please come again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Oh, you my friend, you my friend, best buddy. Yes, big buddy. All right, those people, you should know that right away that they immediately should throw up a red flag, that that is a scam. You sh that, that, that should be your first damn red flag. Your second red flag is that they want you to download remote desktop software on your computer. Do you know what remote desktop software is? That allows them to log in like you are sitting right in front of your computer or in front of your phone right now. It allows them to have access to your stuff just like if it was you. So what you're basically doing is, is you're thinking that somebody's hacking into your stuff. So you call them and say, hey, somebody's been hacking my stuff. And they say, oh, okay, here, download this website, download this software, let me go into your account and I'll secure your account. So that way nobody can steal from you. But really, the person that's on the other end of the line trying to supposedly help you that's the thief that's what he's going to do he's going to get access into your account and steal all of your stuff what you need to do is you need to go to amazon.com and you need to go down to the help button and ask them to call you and they will call you amazon go through the amazon website and ask for them to call you or you can chat with them if you don't want them to call you and ask them has any attempts been made on my account has any types of charges taken place has anything happened 
and I promise you they're going to tell you no. Nothing's going on. Nothing's happened. We don't know what you're talking about. And that right there should tell you right off rip that you were scam. I can't. They would not leave me alone. They kept calling me and calling me and calling me. I'm like, dang, I am trying to sleep. Why are you calling me so much? And then when I listen to it, it's them saying, oh, yes, your account has been um, an attempt has been made on your account. Well, you got to remember, it was an attempt. They were not successful. OK, so why do I need to give my information to this person, to some Indian that I don't know? And unfortunately, Amazon does use Indians as their help service desk. So it's a good scam. What's going on is a good scam, but the red flag to me is the remote desktop software part. That's bullshit. You should have no reason to need remote access into my computer. Okay? If there's an issue, Amazon will take care of it on Amazon's website, on Amazon's account, on their end. They're not going to make you go to some third-party website and download software I mean you're if you know nothing about computers and you're not a tech savvy person some of this should sound like a red flag to you some of this should sound like you know what this ain't right there's something odd about it um, I'm not exactly sure I just got an odd feeling usually your gut or your intuition will tell you not to mess with this Okay, so don't get scammed by this Amazon crap. Yeah, 300 plus million downloads nationwide. I bet that's how many suckers they've gotten to download this app and remote into your shit and steal everything about you. You have to be smarter than this. Okay, you have to be. I appreciate you guys listening. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I just wanted this to be brought up and for y'all to know what, what's going on. Y'all have a great day.